Siege hasn't started streaming yet, right? No. Yet. Okay. Not yet. I was low key thinking about maybe streaming one race of ours on YouTube, on like YouTube or something, mostly to see if I can make that work. But like, I don't know. Maybe it'll find somebody who's interested. It's just us fucking around, so, like, I can't imagine it'd be a huge deal. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm just going to go ahead. Go for it. Hey, Siege. Greetings, folks. Welcome back to Fuel Spill TV. I am Charlie Gearhart, joined once again, as always, by the YouTube chat and by the EFR Discord off-color commentators. How's everyone doing tonight? Great. Great. I have had a hell of a night. Okay. Yeah, so you were saying before we went live, um, <laughs> apologies for... Uh, apologies for the delayed start. We were waiting for the Arse race to wrap up. And, uh, I hope it wasn't butts. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got ASCC tonight. Uh, the ASCC Cottenham All-American Racing Series fueled by Donnie's Great Big Deals, round number 10 of the series from the Kansas Speedway, a 1.5 mile oval in Kansas City, which is in Kansas. But mostly in Missouri. I was going to say, this is the only major Kansas City sporting event that actually takes place in Kansas. We got 36 cars. Nice. 36 cars lined up and ready to go and uh, I apologies I apologize if the stream quality is uh, still crap I am recording this uh, just in case uh, already looking at 3400 drop frames right now I am so sorry but we're gonna press forward Speaking of pressing forward, um, I need to send you some stuff. I got two of the uh, IRP cars set up. Alright. We... Should I send you those later or send them now and you can download them later? Yeah, go ahead and send those later. But uh, we got 36 cars lined up for 150 laps. Donnie King Jr. for Team Star USA is on pole. He won the first two races in a row and uh, has yet to get back to victory lane, but he still leads in the overall points by a large margin. What is that large margin? I need to look up my points. Uh, Donnie King so he leads by uh, 27 points over Jim Hayes in the overall standings, and uh, by... How many points does he lead his teammate? So, he has 327 points and leads his teammate Carl Hampton in the SAR division, uh, who has 289, and then Aaron Law sits third in the SAR standings, sitting on 274, and then Lance Thomas holds fourth place, uh, last spot in the SAR playoffs, 
but only three points ahead of Lev Azarov, so it's a pretty competitive battle for that cut line. Uh, Ryan Long and Bobby Miller the third are not too far behind. All four of those drivers, uh, including Lance Thomas, are separated by six. But it's Donnie King Jr. on pole tonight, followed by Dan Richards, Alex Phillips on the inside of row number two. Uh, starting in the same position that Kenny Myatt earned in that 70 car last week at Toledo. And it's Aaron Law on his outside. Ke Carl Hampton and Calvin Hobbs make up row number three. Ke uh, Alex Carson and Jim Hayes, row four. Joshua Pacer and Hunter Blaze. Uh, last week's winner at Toledo. Uh, first victory in front of the hometown crowd. Uh, they brought up the top ten. How's the stream looking on Discord? That looks okay. Discord's Discord stream looks good. YouTube's a little choppy. Yeah. I uh, once again apologize to the YouTube viewers, but Pacecar's about to leave the fields in the hands. The field in the hands of Donnie King Jr. We're gonna go 150 laps. Stages will end at or near laps 37, 75, and 113. So how much longer to go until the end of the uh, schedule for this series, for our, uh, for uh, ASCC? Um, we're still not at the halfway point, and that's four wide. Okay. Yeah, because this, I, is, <clears throat> this is round 10 of 24. Because okay, I was contemplating today painting that car I mentioned the other night. The uh, army fails on one. Yeah, go for it. The Jesse Awuji ripoff. The uh, thing with like doing the Jesse Awuji like spoof with this series is that there's so many. Is that that's like what the veteran sticker was meant to satirize long before Awuji became a thing. So. <laughs> Wasn't there like a veteran in auto into the playoffs or something like a provisional for that? I think there was at one point. I am just got back out of Siege, the music's still running. Oh crap. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. How dare you? Uh oh. I want my money back. Oh. oh reckon. Or not. Saved it! Nope, they didn't. Oh. Yep. Yeah. No. Let's see car upside down. Oh, Jesus! Oh, jeez! Oh, it's getting worse. That's a death. I think, uh, Joshua Pacer just ate the fence. Do it again, <laughs> I wasn't looking. But he drove away. Tiffany. Oh, it's no. Stephanie Matthews drove away too. Don't mean shit. <laughs> I haven't been here for half a lap. Twenty-five car got into the seven into the uh, seventy-seven. Tony Hawk could be proud of that. Yeah, <laughs> Tony Hawk in the wall. It's a twenty uh, twenty-four cars in it. I'm feeling merciful. Uh, do you guys want to restart? I want death. 
Probably. And maybe you can get a running in without the music going over it, over half. Yeah. Drivers! The Grand Marshal. What is this, Master race. Cup? He's about to give the command to get underway down at the head of the field. Let's listen in. You don't need those stinking commies over in yeah. this series. All right. Rich. On pole is Donnie King Jr. On his outside. Uh, I'm just providing context for um, for for the edit. Uh, Donnie King Jr. is on pole. Dan Richards is on his outside. Alex Phillips uh, lines up in the third spot, returning to that uh, Team Thunder 70 car, which has had a lot of success despite the rotating uh, the rotating roster. This car uh, owns several top fives. Uh, between Bob Steffens, uh, Richard Scott, and most recently, Kenny Myatt, who finished third in his ASCC debut in this car at Toledo last week. On his outside is Aaron Law, Carl Hampton, and Calvin Hobbs in row number three, Alex Carson, and Jim Hayes. Lineup in row four, and rounding out the top ten are Joshua Pacer and Hunter Blaze, our most recent winner at, at Toledo. That good old Toledo Speedway. I the memo. We're doing race edits of these videos now. Just for when he goes back and cuts out the uh, first attempt. Yeah, and yeah. when he goes back to like, re-upload the video because he records it while streaming it, which results in more drop frames. <laughs> okay. I thought I thought Siege meant something like what Casey did with that one PCC Trucks race. Wait, is the is the recording responsible for that? Yeah, I believe so. Because that's because it's using it's pulling from your uh, video ramp for that. Also, I just wanted to point out the eighty-two car got like a thirty-second flat lap, which is honestly amazing, sorta. Of. But anyways, Rich, I was saying earlier, uh, does Anselmi have a ride for IRP like you're trying to get him? Yeah, Lev Azarov did, did set a 30 flat. Good cat. Oh, that's, uh... Dicey. Pack I racing at Kansas, boys. Uh, Vincenzo, how many laps did Arya lose um, because of her uh, disconnection issue? Oh, shoot, she fell out? Uh... I... I don't know. Like, Cooper said she did. I mean, huh, did she finish? I don't know where she was on track in relation to us when we crossed the line. She finished two laps down, so I'm wondering if, like, we should be merciful and give her laps back. Uh, where was she on the track when I crossed the line? Or, sorry, for discussing this on stream, I guess we can do that in DM's lab. Is the caution out? No, it isn't. Battle for the lead. I like that whiz car. Although it's not whizzy enough. It needs to be even more yellow. Alex Carson tucking in behind the uh, Calvin Hobbs number 40. In cell batteries, uh, uh, being sported by both of the Flare Motorsports cars this week, and sponsoring the race itself. That's still one of the better and funnier fictional sponsors. Dan Richards with a big run, taking them three wide to get the lead for himself, but here comes King. And it looks like we're under caution. Team Thunder almost self-destructing as they slow down. I see damage to the 30 of Richie Pinto. And Bobby Miller around.
Did he have like a mechanical issue or something? Didn't tell. Let's see. I guess you could say the power on the extends car came up just a bit short. Yeah, he did have some engine trouble. He had some uh, engine um, shrinkage. Also, Snake, that's a really good question. Siege, I'll let you. <laughs> Snake asks, if the whiz car springs a leak, does the color get darker as it becomes dehydrated? So it looks like uh, Pinto had that engine problem. Bobby Miller got into the back of him. Narrowly avoided disaster with the oncoming traffic. It's a good thing this is it's a good thing this is NR because if that were IRL that Pinto would have exploded. <laughs> Nick, Nick you can do whatever you want, that's just sort of a No uh, yet suggestion. I'm about to respond back. Hold on. Yep. Gotcha. Oh shoot, I totally zoned out. Why are we under yellow? Uh Boom. Richie Pinto had an engine problem, and Bobby Miller spun after running into the back of him. But nothing too serious. Alright. Looks like we got some takers on pit road. So, after uh, winning 13... Was it 13 straight games, Brian? Uh, the Rays? Yeah, I think it was 13. They're about to, they're down 8-0 to the Reds right now. Oof. Elmer Farley uh, takes a trip down Pitt Road. He is the only driver from Kansas in tonight's race, so he's hoping for a strong performance. I like that in the TV car, to be honest. Yeah, I like how it came out, too. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Siege. Why are there tire, tire marks in turn one? Don't worry about it. I don't think the 76 was the only car spinning there. Oh, wait, no, I forgot. Okay, now I take back what I said. Yeah. I look, something also happened to the 90, I see. Yeah, uh, 90 had a mechanical problem, too. And there's that gorgeous 18 car that needs to be shown more on the screen. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Totally not biased. Maybe he should go faster. Is that all? Maybe he should rate him better. Maybe he should get good. And yeah, that is Delbert Haggins in the number 18. Uh, the charter that he's basically splitting between himself and Buck Scroggins. With some help from some other friends. Yes. Um, that reminds me, speaking of Scroggins, the next East race, or West race, is Knoxville, right? Yes. Or, no, that's... I, I, I still have to run the one before that. Uh, but that is an East race, right? Knoxville will be a West race. Okay, just, uh, can you put the 82 in that race, per, per chance? Yeah, sure. He's, like, supposed to be a dirt guy. He's supposed to be a dirt guy, so I figured it'd be perfect. Yeah, sounds good. Anyway, spear right back. Who was the first one out of the pits of those who... Yep, Carl Hampton, first in, first out. He will line up behind the 76, who opted not to pit. One lap to green, Donnie King leads the way. Neil Miller and Richie Pinto will take their places on the inside.
Top 10 coming to the green are Donnie King Jr., Dan Richards, Jim Hayes, Calvin Hobbs, Aaron Law, Joshua Pacer, Stefan Wadarczyk, Rick Atwood, Palmer Styles, and Aaron Singer. And an engine failure for the nine of Joshua Pacer. I think that's the second in a row. Have him. It is. Whoops. Well, that sucks. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Anyway. And then he's gonna hit the wall. I'm surprised that you didn't. Oh, I didn't realize Law had that livery. I thought that was 36. Got a gaggle of cars back here. Oh, Shepard Black, what are you doing? Carl Hampton, what are you doing? Bobby Miller, what are you doing? We're not doing... Oh, God. Four wide is not going to work here. Well, actually, it can, but... Oh, it worked. Holy crud. I think Bobby Miller's regretting his decision to not pit during that caution. Yep, he's hey. repairing... <laughs> although he's not changing tires. Maybe he'll wait till the end of the stage to do that. Oh, who am I kidding? The, these are this is NRAI. They are not aware of stages. Wait, this is fake. You're ruining my immersion siege. <laughs> <laughs> siege, siege, keep it up. I want to see Ryan like the nerd voice, Ryan. Yeah, Kansas Chaser, um, I do apologize for the stream quality. I am recording this and will re-upload it later. Uh, the, uh, Discord, Discord stream is, um, that's running smoother, right? Yeah, the Discord stream's fine. Yeah. So, there's your incentive to hop into the uh, off-color commentator chat. I do have the stream up on Discord, so um, voice chat can watch it in real time. So there's there's your incentive to, to hop in. Calvin Hobbs to the lead once again. Rick Atwood is the highest running open car right now. He's doing a good job keeping up with the lead pack. Hunter Blaze running back here in eighth, uh, well behind the lead pack. Not sure if he's just uh, exercising patience, or if he's uh, legitimately running slower than he'd like. He's got Palmer Styles in the MHL colors right behind him. Battle for 10th is between Alex Phillips and Carl Hampton, who restarted in 15th. After being the first one in and out of the pits on the last caution. Joshua Pacer out of the race, I'm sorry, but we gotta give the race sponsor um, a bit more TV time. You never know when Alex Carson is next. 
Pull up what? That must have happened when I went upstairs to get food. Yeah, Josh Pacer blew up after the restart. Or coming to the restart, that is. Here's Bobby Dwyer joining uh, the Elmer Farley team once again. Oh, we got trouble. It was Jim Hayes involved. Yeah, Jim Hayes has a tire down. There was also trouble with the 16 a while ago. Trouble. Okay, Jim Hayes just, uh... Oh. There, that's what happened. A nice save. <clears throat> Yeah, Donnie King getting into the back of Elmer Farley. Bullying the hometown hero. Did that draw a caution, or...? It did not. <laughs> no. I no, he was not 90 degrees sideways, bro. Okay, so real quick. I have points updated for ours, so I'm just gonna reel off the top ten. Uh... Vincenzo... That be a caution. Vincenzo has a full race lead over me, then it's Cooper, Charlie Bot, Mike, Siege, uh, Woody, uh, Rich's Bot, Zach Krastowski, and Dalwee Gerbert. Sorry to interrupt, but caution. Yep, there's your caution, Seth Anderson, uh, taking his turn to get into the zero, and going for a nice slide down the front stretch. Uh, Elmer Farley won that round. Hey, Rich. Present. Is in, are you still planning on entering Apo and Selmy into IRP? I mean, yeah, but I haven't gotten to, around to paying a car yet. Only if you enter Vovisic. <laughs> oh, God. Vovisic. Have Vovisic as one of the Indy 500 drivers attempting. Looks like Noah Dallas is you, the lucky yeah. dog. Oh, offer you a uh, third DHRE car if you wanted it. I mean, sure. I just have to send Siege rate driver ratings eventually. You hear that, Siege? Yes, I do. I also, uh, I also hear those in the YouTube chat asking for Walfus. I'm sorry. I. I just don't have it in me at this time. Still got plenty of ideas that are that are clawing at me. But again, just can't get myself to open up the program and do anything with it. I'm sorry. Shit, IRP's next. We apologize. Siege is in pancakes mode right now. Oh, wait. Waffles, not waffles. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. A lot more takers on pit road this time. Looks like everyone. Yeah, everybody on the lead lap. Holy... Calvin Hobbs coming out first. Oh, Hunter Blaze is going to make up a lot of ground here. Both Farley cars in the top 30. It's a pretty good showing for the hometown heroes so far. Gonna give the 16 a wave around too, he stayed out. That will not put him up back on the lead lap, though. Just 
just checking the incident tracker to see if I missed anything. Also, Siege. Is the number 61 available uh, for IRP? It might be. Is 67 available? Just in case you get the itch to randomly enter the little guys into IRP. They will not be entering IRP. Because they are in Michigan, you're right. But, uh... Also, their, uh, their guy, their driver is, uh, still suspended from FARC. He has, he has, uh, neglected to do the, uh, required sensitivity training to get himself reinstated. For what it's worth, the team chart on TMPedia shows that both 61 and 67 are open. Okay, uh, Rich... At least I will... among the full timers. Yeah, Rich, I'll probably end up. I'm sorry, I zoned out. Which car are we talking about? Oh, I'm entering one of Rich's drivers into the IRP far ground, that's all. You're good. We will have 11 laps to the end of the stage. Calvin Hobbs leads. And we've got the 76 of Bobby Miller going up in smoke. Rick Atwood restarting up in the top five. And Hunter Blaze has vaulted up to fourth. Uh oh. Ow. Ooh. That was Neil Miller getting hooked by Stefan Wadarczyk, taking Graham McMillan up into the wall. And uh, Lev Azarov joins the party oh. in a painful way. That's some whiplash for the 82. Okay, Brett Finley, what are you doing? Bonk. Nice one. I'll be right back. I'm going to jump up to general for a second. Was that McMillan he just ran in the back of? Yeah. Like a fucking nerd? Oh. Missed this. Elmer Farley dropped out. Yep. Suspension failure for the zero. Aw. Aw, who will become the running road chicane? Or who do we have in this race to become turn five? Oh, and 76 just dropped out. Uh, Piston. Yeah, he blew up coming to the restart. Oh, gotcha. Uh, yeah, anyways, who's going to be the uh, caught, uh, fifth turn? Well, Bobby Dwyer's still out there. Good point. J.W. Cogburn is the lucky dog.
He's the uh, lucky dog as long as he doesn't cock it up. Looks like Hunter Blaze has given up his track position to pit once again. So did Aaron Law. And Calvin Hobb. When did Jim Hayes have issues? You know when he stopped on track? Like... Oh, right. Back when? Oh, I... Didn't realize you hadn't remembered that, sorry. Yeah, he stalled in turn two. Right. Lackey two just got, got him, uh, so fast. Uh... We just completely forgot about it. Rick Atwood has cycled up to the second spot. Maybe he's hoping to get himself in position for a stage win. I'm going to see where he is in points. He's in the Lycoya division. Rick Atwood is uh, 13 points behind the cut line right now. So yeah, he needs all the... He's going to be go going for some points here, especially with uh, Graham McMillan and Neil Miller in front of him having trouble. I may remind everyone the stage point the stage point payouts uh, changed after uh, the Charlotte Roval, starting with Toledo. Uh, first place gets 10 points, as they always do, but then uh, it's 5 points for second and 1 point for third. And that's all the stage points that are awarded, because doing the top 10 every time is a pain. Roberto Crown Jr. having, some, having a uh, tire go down on him, coming to the restart. It looks like... Um, yeah, the restart lap is when most of these mechanical gremlins strike. So I think a lot of these teams are just hoping for as few restarts as possible. Rick Atwood falling back to, uh, thanks to Alex Phillips. Palmer Styles and Carl Hampton now making their moves. Styles has cycled to the front as well. Daniel Voiles restarting up inside the top 10. That's Greg Gray, Lance Thomas, and now Calvin Hobbs making his way forward. And it looks like we just had Alex Phillips take the lead. How long has Calvin Hobbs been in that 40 again? I, I'm dumb. Don't quote me on that and remove it from the video siege. Just kidding. I think he ran number 68 last season. 
Yeah, I remember he had the same. I thought someone else was in that 40. Then again, it's been a while since we've had an ANCC stream that I've been uh, able to watch. Oh no, Calvin Hobbs has been full time in that 40 car this year. Okay, I thought someone else uh, teamed up with. Uh, Oh, what's his face? The other driver in the 20. No, it's always been uh, Hunter Blaze and Calvin Hobbs uh, at Patriot I Racing this season. Say Hunter Blaze, call Hunter Blaze Isaac Leitner. Same owner, but still. Yeah, that was the other Gravity Racing driver who won a FARC championship last year. White flag on stage number one, Carl Hampton trying to take it from Dan Richards. Jim Hayes, the lapped car, trying to throw a wrench into it. Calvin Hobbs, after pitting on that last caution, is all the way back up to third. So he's going to try to get some stage points out of this. Coming out of turn four, Carl Hampton is going to win stage one. Calvin Hobbs rallies all the way back up to second. And Dan Richards claims the last stage point in a photo finish with Alex Phillips. That's the stage results exported. All cars up to three laps down will get back on the lead lap. With apologies to Roberto Crown Jr. Let's see who comes down pit lane. Carl Hampton, Calvin Hobbs, Aaron Law, and Donnie King Jr. stay out. Colton Spencer stays out. That looks like J.W. Cogburn staying out as well. So most of the field is going to come down pit road this time. That's all the wave arounds. Alright, miss anything or is this still the stage caution? 
Yeah, we're still on the stage break. So top 10 right now. After all the pit stops, we had some stay out. Aaron Law and Donnie King Jr. for Team Star USA. Colton Spencer for Jim Brennan Motorsports. J.W. Cogburn in the Cluck U Racing number 16. Calvin Hobbs in uh, fifth place. Alex Carson sixth. Johnson Clapp in the, in the McDermott Motorsports number 69. Up seventh. Peter Johnson is eighth. Aaron Singer ninth. Obligatory. And, and Hunter Blaze rounds out the top ten. Noah Dalitz, after being the first lucky dog of the race, has cycled up to 11th. Seth Anderson, our defending series champion, is 12th. Daniel Boyle's 13th. He had a, a good spot on that last restart, but has fallen back to 13th. Rick Atwood, 14th. Dan Richards in 15th. Alex Phillips, 16th. Carl Hampton, 17th. Palmer Styles, 18th. Lance Thomas, 19th. Austin Reed rounding out the top 20. Then it's Ryan Long, Delbert Haggins, Shepard Black, Greg Gray, Bobby Dwyer, Richie Pinto, and Stefan Wodarczyk. All, and then Jim Hayes all back on the lead lap. The only car off the lead lap right now is Roberto Crown Jr. He is six laps down. So maybe if he can get a few wave arounds on this next stage, he'll be able to get back on the lead lap, eventually. see what the pace car does. One lap to green. Coming to the start of stage two, we will go to lap 75. flag. Donnie King Jr. politely opening up the door for Colton Spencer, who squeezes himself in between the 36 and the 31. Here comes J.W. Cogburn. He was looking low all the way down the backstretch, thinking, hmm, do I make a bad decision? Four wide, ever so briefly. Blaze and Alex Phillips marching their way back forward. Let's 
go on board with our defending champion for a bit. Looks like we got three wide for the lead. Hunter Blaze on the bottom, four wide. Thank you, Alex Phillips. Alex Phillips has got himself a fast car. He's not thinking about points. He don't care. They all should be dead. How did they pull that off? Hey, these guys are the best drivers in America. That's what uh, the marketing, the ACC marketing department keeps telling us. I thought it was the world. The world? Nah, all that matters is America. Yeah, fair enough. Aaron Law is breaking up the Tonaire party right now. Yeah, rich best in America implies best in the world. I'll keep that in mind. Exactly. Pinto getting in the way. Aaron Singer with a big run on the inside. He just jumped up like five positions with that. Alex Carson looking for the lead against Hunter Blaze. Both drivers have had a lot of success in the Farclow Dollar Series, but here comes Dan Richards with a big run. Twenty laps to the end of stage two. Stefan Wodarczyk.
three wide for the lead. Good, clean, family-friendly run in Stage 2 so far. Alex Phillips... promised crashes. Alex Phillips back to the lead as Daniel Voiles gets in the way. Battle for 10th is between Colton Spencer and Lance Thomas. The lead pack in front of them is ever so in sight, but unattainable. I think that's going to be Donnie King Jr. taking the lead. getting in the way again. That's a silly question, man. but does anyone know how the 23 car sponsor is supposed to be read? I've always said Ash, but I don't know if it's supposed to be A-S-H. Good question. I, I just call it Ash. Yeah, it would make sense it would be that because it's a fire extinguisher. Yeah, I just, with the way it's stylized, I don't know if it was meant to be read as ASH, but yeah, I've always said Ash too. Just curious. In the EA games, I've painted a livery with a lot of blue in addition to red and yellow, even though there's no blue in the logo, but I mm. did it anyway, and I liked it. I'm gonna make something for, uh, uh, an R. Ten laps to go in stage two.
just checking the incident tracker. Oh, there was some contact between the 13 and the 20. Or 30. Doesn't look like we missed anything major. Is the Discord stream still looking good? Yeah. Okay. I imagine the YouTube stream, not so much. It looks okay. It's choppy, but it looks okay. Yeah. Yeah, the Discord one is also choppy, but not bad enough to actually worry about. Okay. Yeah, I'm at 58,000 dropped frames now. Oof. Delbert Haggins into the back of the 23. He's finding his way into the top 10 conversation. I'm back. That is, I, I came back to see the most gorgeous car in the world. And he's up to 12. What? What? Eighteen is in twelve. What in God's good name happened to everyone else? No, nobody's died in this stage. Unlike, you know, the first attempt at this race, which you guys didn't see, because Siege is editing this. Oh, looks like we got a caution. Looks like it may have been Ryan Long and Noah Dallitz involved. Ryan's, Ryan Long's car looks like Ryan Short now. Oh, things went on there. Woo! Yeah, that was close. That was also a very humorous sequence of events. That may be for the stage win. We won't have enough time to get it restarted before lap 75. So, Dan Richards wins stage number two, followed by Hunter Blaze and Calvin Hobbs. Gonna wait for all cars to cross the line and then save this for the uh, halfway backup. cars up to three laps down we'll get back on the lead lap once again i must apologize to roberto crown jr
looks like we, we got everybody coming into the pits. Calvin Hobbs looks like he's going to take the lead coming out of the pits. Dan Richards only lost one spot. Aaron Law up to third. And Jim Hayes, Colton Spencer, Alex Phillips. Terrible stop for Hunter Blaze that time. And it looks like Donnie King Jr. is also having some trouble and he will drop way back. Well, nobody dropped out from the incident between Ryan Long and Noah Dalitz. 29 of the 36 starters remain on the track. Just making sure they're going around like they should. Alright, one to go next time by. Or this time by. The next stage caution will be lap 113 at or near lap 113. Top 10 on the 
on this restart will be Calvin Hobbs, Dan Richards, Aaron Law, Jim Hayes, Colton Spencer, Alex Phillips, Rick Atwood, Lance Thomas, Alex Carson, and Hunter Blaze, who finished... Did he finish second or third at that stage? Yeah, he finished second in stage two, but... Uh, a bad pit stop has dropped him all the way back to 10th. Pace cars off. This is going to get fun. Four wide going into one. See what's happening further back. We got Aaron Law or Aaron Singer trying to keep sight of the first pack. Seth Anderson leading the second. That pit cycle set Delbert Haggins back a bit. He's trying to hang on to the top 20 now. Oh no. Austin Reed's having a pretty good run in the 15. That's another one of the open cars. Hunter Blaze has found his way back to the lead. Aaron Law in second. And then it's a hornet's nest from third on back. Hornets on me. What was that? Hornets on me. <laughs> the lead. Hello. 
below Bobby Dwyer. Almost took out Aaron Law. Almost. Great run for Peter Johnson and Expansion Motorsports. It runs like this are real hard for him to get. A. <laughs> Atwood's up there. Peter Johnson and Carl Hampton are going to join them. The 68 is smelling a rock. I drew the LPs earlier today, the Min and Max Race LPs. I'm pretty happy that I did that. Yeah. Any laps to the end of stage three. Again, the stage caution will come at or near lap 113. Palmer Styles. Last year, he was king of the Inglesby division. Well, until Daytona happened. This year, he finds himself uh, below the Lennard cut line. Trying to get his season back on track. Day team finally wreck or blow up or something? No, he's still in there. He's up to 17th. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, meh. 
perfectly meh, just like I wanted. Oh, we got a caution. Noah Dallitz and Ryan Long get to get to get together once again. That wasn't the cause of it. Oh, J.W. Cogburn. Hello there. Looks like the lucky dog will be the 37. Oh, Peter Johnson had a tire go down. It happened at a pretty good time for him. He's able to pit, get that taken care of without losing a lap. And he went ahead and got full service anyway. I wonder if he'll make it to the end of the race. Yeah, fuel run is 66 lap. All right, how do pit stops shake out? Alex Carson comes out first. Then I think that's going to be Calvin Hobbs, followed by Dan Richards. Rick Atwood comes out fourth, followed by Alex Phillips. Ooh, terrible stop once again for Donnie King Jr. and Hunter Blaze. Those guys are really being let down by their pit crews right now. Seth Anderson's got a tire problem. Oh, he's out! That thing must have... Uh, must have shredded his car. Oh, what happened? Noah Dalitz got spun by J.W. Cogburn on the front stretch. Uh, everybody's fine. Everyone's having a bad day. Or, Noah's really having a bad day. Everyone's out to get him. Peter Johnson's back up into fourth. Rick Atwood behind him. Could really experience. Sorry. 
Siege, with the way the 44 is running, I think that team could have, uh, or could, uh, get some, uh, With the way the 44 is running, the team is looking at getting some nice expansion uh, money, right? <laughs> I botched that. They tried that last season. Didn't quite work out for them. Eleven laps to the end of, of the stage this time. Oh, that's not going to be good. Ooh. Yep, lapped cars are jamming everybody up. Uh, Colton Spencer into the back of Jim Hayes. takes Aaron Law with them. Ooh, Stefan Rodarczyk just piles in. Oh! Hunter Blaze and Delbert Haggins got into something. Yeah, this is while they were... Uh... Yeah, good job. Oh dear. Noah Dalitz is the lucky dog. Yeah, he's the lucky dog. He had no contact in there. Yeah, that was all behind him. Blazes on his way to the pits, as well as Ryan Long. Oh, Lance Thomas uh, is up in smoke. They're going to need to make use of their uh, sponsor right now. gonna try something if the game crashes i sincerely apologize
All right. We're back. Looks like we will have 24 cars left on track. Hunter Blaze is back out there. But I don't know how useful that 20 car is going to be right now. Hunter Blaze does lead the Lycoy division after taking his first career victory at Toledo last week. But he was obviously hoping to follow up on that. One lap to green. It's going to be a mad dash to the end of stage three. Props to the ASCC for putting the American flag on, on the roof of the pace car in the correct direction. If they got it right, something tells me it was by complete accident. Well, no, no, that would be the one thing they get, did get would get right because the fan base would raise holy hell if they did. Does it technically matter if the stars are on the front left or the front right? What? Um, the flag is always depicted in the direction of motion, stationary, therefore, and in this case it would be with the union toward the front of the car. Oh. Yeah, I just thought things are. On either side of the car. Things are getting. Aggressive for nice. to the end of stage three. Yeah. Oh. No, no, Vincent. You, they're wrecking. Oh. Uh. Stole. Oh. oh. Noah Dalitz, you pleb. There's a big, that big, that big pedal in the middle. It's the brake. I can't wait for uh, the Novo Dalits uh, reply on Twitter. To... Anyways, ow. That was a big hit. We might have time for one more restart before the end of the stage. Oh, buddy. But yeah, things sure did pick up there, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what the heck did you do? <laughs> Restarted the race with six laps to the end of the, of the stage. That's what we did. Yeah, Dan Richards was uh, all over the back of the 40 going into one. Oh, but Richards got a big shot from the 99, who almost got turned by the 70. Yeah, things get intense towards the end of these stages and races. Rick Atwood trying to get all he can, shoving the lapped car of Bobby Dwyer around. 
And that's ultimately how this came undone. Oof. Oh, Vincenzo, circling back to the um, the thing with the flag. Mm. If you're the way I understand it, is that the flag is when it's laid on a two D surface, it's always shown in the direction of motion. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So that. on the so on the driver's side of the car, if you're putting it on the B pillar, say, yeah, no, you would I... use the standard flag sticker with yeah, the with I... the U D to the upper left. Yeah, I understand. For the passenger side, it would be the uh, go backwards because correct it's, as if it's flying. Yep. I just thought the roof was center, so. Nope. Oh. Always in the direction of motion. I just thought since the roof's in the center, you could put the stars in the front left or the front right. No. As if now, it... if you're playing, now if you're going to play the game of who wants, who do you want to see it? Judging by the fan, where the fans are, you want the flag on the roof the way the pace car is depicting it with the UD to the upper right. Otherwise, if you're doing it toward the infield, you want it on the lower left. Yeah, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. I thought that you could pick always, which way yeah. you wanted to face as far always, as that no. goes. Always in the direction of motion. No, no, I know that. I just thought left versus right. Should I flip the flag the other way? On the pace car? No. <laughs> no. I was just hypothetical, uh, ing. No, it, because it is no, because considering how much the ASCC likes to wrap itself in the flag, it should be the one thing that it gets right. Because gold dang it, if we're gonna if you're if we're gonna make you stand for it, we're gonna show it the right way. <laughs> Back in a sec. Part of me does wonder if the uh, flag usage code uh, um, says anything about putting a big light bar on top of it. <laughs> I think... I think technically... I don't even know it's a, if it's a rule or not. I think flag code says it's not allowed to be used or depicted on any form of clothing or apparel, but it's obviously one of those things that nobody cares about or enforces. One lap to the end of stage three. And Calvin Hobbs hold these guys off. Cars off. Green, green, green. Oh, they're wrecking. But we're still racing. Oh, they're wrecking again. Out of two. Calvin Hobbs getting a big shove from the seven into three. And Calvin Hobbs takes the stage win. 
followed by Dan Richards and Alex Carson. Now, Daniel Voiles is looking a little totaled. Oh, Peter Johnson involved in, in another one. Yeah, he was having a good run. Johnson Clap has damage. Another caution. Now that we've just experienced a string of quick of yellows in quick succession, this is just what the fans wanted. Another yellow. Although I guess there was a crash this time anyway. So Carl Hampton just smashes into the back of Richie Pinto, who did not get up to speed. The 18 dropout or something? Aaron Singer gets up into the wall. That was a very destructive one-lap shootout, I must admit. There's too much on the line not to take the risk. Even though everyone fourth on back gets nothing. You just dangle a few points in fr or you, you just dangle a prize in front of these guys, and then, then it, it, it all goes mad. <laughs> a carrot on a string. Alright, I need to put my push-to-talk sounds back on, because this is fucking confusing me. You good? Yes. Have you been trying to talk this whole time? I thought I was. Couldn't you hear me? Not until 15 seconds ago. <laughs> okay. I have no idea. This computer's been acting weird lately. I'm having- I have a feeling that it's... gonna bite the dust pretty soon. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. But yeah, we can hear you now. It's just been like... Yeah. It's just been like... kind of stuttering a lot. And... I don't know what that means right now, but it seems to me like... this laptop is getting old. I've had it for like... What, five years now? Oh, that could be. That's not too long. This is a pretty high-end machine, too, too. I just, like... Haven't taken the best care of it, admittedly. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. a little problematic. My brother does tech repair. I've been meaning like see if he can like clean this thing up a bit like internally and externally and when I talk when I say internally I don't mean like files and shit I mean like the inner workings of the machine because files and shit I can do myself
Right, I got wave arounds to do. Almost forgot about that. Well, Roberto Crown, despite being six laps down, is still going to get himself a top 20. Yeah, 18 did drop out. Calvin Hobbs still leads the way, followed by Dan Richards, Alex Carson, Donnie King Jr., Alex Phillips, Colton Spencer, Palmer Stiles, J.W. Cogburn, Aaron Singer, and Hunter Blaze is back up in the top 10. And it's Ryan Long 11th, Greg Gray 12th, Carl Hampton 13th, Shepard Black 14th, and Austin Reed. Uh... Last car running on the lead lap, but he will be joined by Bobby Dwyer and uh, Richie Pinto. Eighteen cars are left in the race, half of the starting field. One lap to green, we will have 30 laps to go next time by. Oh, Hunter Blaze has a problem. So, tire down on the 20. Sucks to be him. Anyway. Just in time for the restart. Let's go. 
Start of stage four, 30 laps to go. styles and he's not the only one mm, I thought I turned that off Give me a moment. Top three have not changed. But I wonder who's next. Hey, look at that, Roberto Crown gets a lap back. Huzzah!
Oh, Ryan Long blew up. He was running eight. That's gonna give us 13 cars remaining. One lap to green, it'll be 25 to go next time by. Pace car is off. Let's do it again. Forty didn't go. Seven gives him a shot in the back. I think the 72's got a pitting problem. Wait. No, he didn't. I don't think so. Yeah, he was getting service. But still, that puts him a lap down as he was running 12th. Calvin Hobbs still controlling this race. Dan Richards second. Alex Phillips up to third. Alex Carson's been shuffled back to fifth. Austin Reed is uh, one of the slower cars on track right now, but he is uh, in tenth. So, great run, at least on paper, for that 15 car. Alex Phillips into the back of the 30.
He had to have seen him, right? Well, we stay green. Oof. Yeah, Alex Phillips just dropped out of the race. Get out of the way, Bobby Dwyer, <laughs> is the message from the 40. It's, unless something drastic happens, it's going to be Calvin Hobbs, Donnie King Jr., Alex Carson, and Dan Richards fighting for this win. One car from each of the OEMs in this fight. Like Coyle leading Sar, then Lennard and Tanner. Lycoya fresh off their first ASCC victory with Hunter Blaze last week. Calvin Hobbs hoping to do the hoping to follow up with number two. Coming up on another lapped car, Richie Pinto. What happened to J.W. Cogburn?
All the uh, Cluck U cars will be the next to go a lap down. They are running 7th and 8th. These guys are fighting for the win. They're going to be real reluctant to slow down for them. Carson. Looks like, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, this might get worse. Okay, never mind. I was just about to say it looked like they were all running through a running through a pack of ARSS bots. Well, Donnie King Jr. getting crossed up with Bobby Dwyer is gonna give us a late race shootout. Shepard Black is the lucky dog. Am I correct in assuming that we have a green-white checkered in this league? Yes. But I don't think we'll need to invoke it yet. Well, they better get they better get going next lap, otherwise you're gonna have a uh, you're gonna have, oh maybe you might have a natural checkered. Yeah, I was gonna say it's um gonna restart two to go at the earliest. If it restarts at all. Oh, it'll restart. Caution AI is. Oh, yeah, but I mean. NL caution AI. NR caution AI being what it is. It could easily. Oh, I see you have better caution. Green white checkers out. Okay. So it will yep. restart. All right. CC ever named this? Uh, I'm sure they will eventually. I I yeah, I, I could have sworn I read somewhere that um, it was overdrive.
One to go. So on the lead lap are seven cars, Calvin Hobbs, Dan Richards, Alex Carson, Donnie King Jr., Colton Spencer, Hunter Blaze, and Shepard Black, all with a chance to win the Incel Batteries 225. Face cars off. Green white checker. Calvin Hobbs has to hold off the field for just two laps. Sounds simple enough, right? Probably do it better than I did. Hobbs has no buttons. Wait, wait. No. He has a button. Donnie King Jr. falling behind. Big lead for Calvin Hobbs out of turn four as Dan Richards and Alex Carson fight for second. White flag. Hunter Blaze into the back of Colton Spencer. Coming out of turn four, Patriot Racing is going to win its second, going to take their second win in a row with Calvin Hobbs. Dan Richards ended up in second, Alex Carson third, Colton Spencer moved up into fourth after uh, the misfortunes of Donnie King Jr. on that restart, Hunter Blaze in fifth, Donnie King Jr. hangs on to the sixth, uh, sixth spot, and Shepard Black finishes seventh last of the lead lap cars, then it was Austin Reed in eighth, Richie Pinto ninth, J.W. Cogburn in tenth, those three cars uh, finished two laps down. Bobby Dwyer comes home 11th, persevering for the Farley team, and Roberto Crown Jr. ended up in 12th, five laps down. And that's everybody who finished. This thing got a little crazy in the second half. It may or may not have been Divine Intervention responsible for that. That is uh, one third of the starting lineup that made it to the end. the third of the lineup that didn't crash. Well, some of them crashed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the third that survived. And there's, there is Calvin Hobbs parked in victory lane. Again, second win in a row for Patriot Racing. I don't know if this is Calvin Hobbs' first win or not. He's been in the series for a long time. Just give me a moment to tally up the points, and then we will do Room of Doom.
This is real exciting stuff, I know. All right. Uh, points are added up. You you can see this on if you're on Discord, but if you're on YouTube, sorry. But anyway, it's time for Room of Doom. J.W. Cogburn, our 10th place finisher, is first in the tech line. And he rolls a 6. Richie Pinto ran into some early trouble, but persevered to a 9th place finish. Let's see if Room of Doom will smile upon him. And it does. Nat 20 for Richie Pinto. He passes Tech with flying colors. If I'm not mistaken, this might be Austin Reed's first uh, top 10 finish in the ASCC. This is his first top 10 finish. Welcome to Room of Doom, Austin Reed. Let's see what you roll. And it's a three. Austin Reed is safe. Shepard Black is up next. This will be his second top ten finish of the season. And Shepard Black is safe. Donnie King Jr. was a front runner all night until he tangled with Bobby Dwyer at towards the end. But he still managed a sixth place finish. And he rolls a six. Donnie King is safe. Hunter Blaze, our fifth place finisher, is up. 
with the uh, first D10 roll of the night. Uh-oh, they found something on the 20. What is the penalty? And it's a 10-point uh, penalty for Hunter Blaze. All right, I'm going to put the penalty into RPM. Uh what what should what should they have found? Improperly mounted ballast. All right, sounds good. Room of Doom claims its first victim of the night. What is ba <clears throat> what is ballast normally? Tungsten? Yeah. Not so. Colton's rear and in some instances can fall out of a car. Which right. is a big no no. That stuff is somewhat heavy. Some <laughs> Meanwhile, Colton Spencer passes tech. Alex Carson, our third place finisher, is up next. And he rolls a five. Dan Richards is up next. And he also rolls a five. And that just leaves us with our winner, Calvin Hobbs. Is his car legit? Is his ballast properly mounted? Yes, it was. Calvin Hobbs passes tech and keeps all of his points. Congratulations. Hooray. All right, I will have the uh, full results and point standings posted on the Discord uh, eventually. But right now, I can tell you that Donnie King Jr. still leads the overall points by 38 over his teammate Carl Hampton. Then Jim Hayes leads the Tonaire standings. Hunter Blaze still leads in uh, the Lycoy division, but by only six points over tonight's winner, Calvin Hobbs. And then where? Okay, I see the first Lenard of Joshua Pacer, who leads over Alex Carson, J.W. Cogburn, and Stefan Wadarczyk, all right in a row. And that will do it for tonight's ASCC race, the in-cell batteries, 225 at the Kansas Speedway. I think we've learned a lot tonight. But now it is time to... Yes? Sorry, we learned how good all these drivers really are. Oh, yes. They are so elite that only 13 of them were running at the finish. <laughs> All right, 12. That makes it even better. But now it's time to sign off. Uh, thank you so much to the off-color commentators and the YouTube viewers. I'm Charlie Gearhart, 
and I will ASCC you around. Thank good you. Night and good luck. <laughs>